Hello people, welcome to Stella's Art Studio. Unless you've been here before, then greetings my star spangled spectators. Today is another Edit Girls video. It's definitely been a while since my last video and after all the time I was worried my hand only remembered how to flip pages and write essays, so I was definitely excited when I got to work on this video. So might as well jump into it. First, if you've seen some of my previous Edit Girl videos, you may notice I used to try to get you all to guess what fruit I was drawing, but out of all the other videos, I made only like a few people guess, and trying not to give away the fruit in the thumbnail or the title or just when I was talking was already kind of tricky. And among other reasons, I'm just going to tell you what I'm drawing. Plus, I think just by looking at the first design, I think you can tell what fruit this is based on. But this first Edit Girl of this group of tropical fruit is a banana. So for this redraw, I wanted her to have a similar design to her original one. I liked her dress, so I just wanted to update her to look a bit how I would draw her now. When I designed her, I wanted as many things to be in the shapes of a banana as possible, like her hair, eye shape, and dress. She's kind of tall with a small, somewhat shy smile. Bananas naturally have a light, sweet flavor, especially at their brightest yellow state. Okay, now how about some banana facts? So first, according to makefruitfair.org, bananas originated from Southeast Asia and the South Pacific around 8,000 to 5,000 BC. It's apparently thought of to be the first grown and harvested fruit. It's said to have been brought to the New World by explorers and missionaries after it was brought west by Arab conquerors. According to berkeleywellness.com, there are over 500 types of bananas, even though only a few of them are put into the market. A few of these types of bananas are baby or niño bananas, burro bananas, Cavendish bananas, the type you usually see in stores around the US, ice cream bananas, red bananas, and plantains. I've personally had my experiences, well, yeah, with the common Cavendish bananas, but also niño platanos y plantains. Niño platanos are these really cute little chubby bananas that are usually in cute little clusters. They're sweet and real nice for a snack. I remember eating a few when I was very small. Haven't had one in years. And plantains are yum, especially when they're cut up and fried. If you haven't had any, you should try some. Hmm, bananas are interesting little things. They ripen really fast, especially because they produce a chemical called, um... Oh yeah, ethene, according to bbc.com. So ethene is just a gas that these yellow yummies produce that cause them and even other fruit around them to ripen faster. So if you want to make something ripen faster, just stick a banana next to it. Huh, that's interesting. According to that'sitsfruit.com, bananas grow on plants that are officially considered herbs. Bananas are actually considered a berry, and they also help the body produce serotonin, which seem to have given them the reputation of being a mood enhancer. And apparently, humans share 50% of our DNA with bananas. <laughs> We're part nanners. So in the drawing, I'm pretty much done. I wanted her to look innocent and sweet, so I gave her a pretty reserved and shy pose with a small smile. Something I could have added that I thought of later was some freckles, since bananas get little brown spots. I thought that would have been cute. So yeah, here's Brooke the Banana Girl. Next is a coconut. Now for this one, there were quite a few directions that I wanted to go. Actually, it's kind of like that for most of them. Sometimes I go with a drawing of a girl into fashion that resembles the food, and other times I try to draw the girl where it's like she's literally personifying that food, or somewhere in between those two. Like the blueberry girl, I drew her with bluish gray skin and made her clothes very round and a blueberry color, and try to give her like, and a somewhat calm, sweet personality. Well, when I did the coin girl, I just gave her a dress that looked like corn. Along with, you know, other aspects like her hair, she had a little slap of butter on a headband she had. So I was kind of tied between what to do with this one because I know I really liked her first design, but it's based on a coconut and I wanted her to have more round, cute shapes. Still with a pretty calm, I guess not too expressive, flavor or personality, since coconuts... I don't know, they're not like super like in your face with flavor, but they have a special taste to them. But still enough to have like their own desserts like coconut cream pie or coconut cake. So yeah, pretty much redo her, but use different shapes to make her body. Though after drawing it, I did want to change her pose and body a bit, but I think she looks pretty cute and happy. I wanted to give her a lot of rounder shapes, so I also made the tips of her hair look more round and bubbly, which you can see in the line art. So how about some coconut facts? So according to source.russell.edu, coconuts originated in the Pacific and were likely grown on the islands of Southeast Asia, such as the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. They also appeared in the Indian Ocean, where they were probably grown in southern areas of India. Back to the drawing, I decided to give her a very exaggerated hourglass shape, as I'm trying out a different body type for her. I like creating pretty different looking characters, as you may notice if you follow me on Instagram. I mostly like experimenting with colors and face shapes and hair and all that. 
I know I've seen stuff here and there where some people see artists work and they have the same poses or eyes or kind of look like the exact same character just in a dressing game or something. And I remember for a long time, I would try to make sure my characters didn't have that, have the same face syndrome as some call it. But at the same time, I think I tried a little too hard and it became a problem because now I think I have the opposite problem. <laughs> Because if you look at my little Styla character, for example, she looks pretty different every time I draw her like in a thumbnail or something. I mean, she hasn't had like a very standard look per se. I mean, she has these physical characteristics as a little avatar character that you can recognize her by, like the hair, her specific outfit, and because she's pink. I mean, I can get into her origin story another time if you guys want to hear about it, but she has evolved a lot, especially because for a while I was trying to figure out what my art style was, so I just wiggled my way through the art world, trying out different styles, seeing what I did and didn't like using. Anyways, back to the drawing. One of the few things I changed was the name, or at least the spelling of it, which when it was Courtney with a Y, it was changed to Courtney with an IE. It was just a suggestion when I was done drawing it and I liked it, so I just went with it. So here's Courtney the Coconut Girl. So, last but not least is Polly the Pineapple Girl. As you can see, her first design was quite cheerful with a bright dress and facial expression. And of course, her hair was to resemble a pineapple. This one was the one where I got the most inspiration for a redesign. Now, I quite like pineapples, their spunky taste and bright colors. These gave me the idea for her pose and outfit. Pineapples are sweet, but they kind of hurt my tongue after eating them for a while when they're raw. And they're not even okay to eat if they're not ripe. So with that in mind, I wanted to have a pretty sharp personality since the flavor is pretty distinct and even though it's sweet, it can cause that little bit of tanginess that hurts after a while. So I wanted her pose also seem very pronounced and confident. I was also debating whether to give her a dress or pants since in the original she had a dress, but in the end I wanted her to seem like she was going out and wanted to feel active and fashionable, so I gave her some pants with the cute almost baggy top and cute boots. <laughs> At first her hair was too tall to fit in the canvas, so I had to shrink her, but I did want it to stick up like how an actual pineapple does. I also wanted her hair to hug around her head and look pulled up to a spiky ponytail. I tried to mimic the flavor in her expression while mixing sweet and exciting and a little hint of dangerous with the idea of an unripe pineapple in mind. I wanted her to seem pretty active, the type that would be more outgoing, seeing new things, meeting people and whatnot. She's pretty much the opposite of the coconut girl. Even though they're both tropical fruit, I made pretty much everything on the coconut girl from her lashes and hair to her overall shape seem calm and round. While the pineapple girl has sharper and more angled shapes, but I also wanted to keep rounder shapes on her design to be like the shape of an actual pineapple. So I kept her eyes, pants, and hair around her face pretty round. Out of the three, Polly is also the one with the most detail. I was just really inspired with her as she's the only one that had more of a redesign. So how about some pineapple facts? So, according to that's it's food.com, pineapples regenerate. You can plant the leaves to grow an entire new plant. Huh, it's kinda like a starfish. If you have half a starfish, it can grow into another starfish. Did you know that people were trying to decrease the starfish population at one point, so they went out and cut a bunch of starfish in half, but all that did was greatly increase the amount of starfish? Wow, imagine if people could do that. Would that make that person a clone? Would they have all their memories, or would they just have to learn everything again? If you had an arm, then would it grow into another you, and then you just grew your arm back? How small of a part would you need to grow another person? A hand? A finger? Man, that'd be weird. Pineapples sparked an odd direction for conversation. So speaking of pineapples, Hawaii produces about one third of the world's pineapples. It takes about 18 to 12 months for them to grow and ripen. That's quite a while. And they ripen faster upside down. Huh, according to HuffPost.com, pineapples stop ripening when they're harvested. So I'd assume they'd have a pretty decent shelf life. <laughs> Opposite of bananas, they're just like ripe, 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 ripe. And pineapples just chill. Man, imagine if someone had pineapple powers, regeneration, and slowed or halted aging. That would be interesting. Anyways, in the drawing, I wanted to make sure she had quite a few warm colors with pops of green here and there. I wanted to personify the fruit more with her. So she has a spiky ponytail and an outgoing attitude. She's wearing a half-off shoulder top with somewhat baggy-looking pants to look like the fruit, and short green boots. So yeah, here's Polly the Pineapple Girl. Now all that's left is seeing the old with the new. So, first up is Brooke the Banana Girl. She's pretty similar in both drawings with the same hair and outfit, with the main change just being her face. I liked her soft and reserved, friendly look. If I were to redraw her again, I would probably see what non-dress outfit I could come up with. I like the look and feel of both versions though. Which one do you like more? Next up is Courtney the Coconut Girl. Even though I knew I wanted to go with a different look for her, I could tell I was a little stuck with the original design since I did like it quite a bit. Looking back, I probably should have used a bit more reference outfits and used a different pose, but I like them both, and they both have a different cute feel to them. 
And then there's that name change I mentioned before. I don't know, using IE instead of the Y just fit her. And last but not least, Polly the Pineapple Girl. This peppy pineapple was the one I spent the most time on and probably why her redraw was the most creative. She has quite a bit of personality along with an expressive outfit and pose. Although the first Polly was more sweet and energetic, new Polly has a more extroverted energy, the one that would want to be active and having a good time. Finally, all three in order are Brooke the Banana Girl, Courtney the Coconut Girl, and Polly the Pineapple Girl. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Even though it's the first video of the year, it took a while for me to finally get it out. I hope to be getting them out much faster. Cause, well gee, I miss you guys. And I really love being able to interact with you. You guys just really brighten my day and I really enjoy making content for you. Well, all the such as you guys' art. These are still from my Miracle Fruit Fairy and Ice Cream Girl. Draw this in your style challenge. I'm still open to taking you guys' drawings, so you can just roll into Instagram or Pinterest to try them. I hope to see you there. Have a silly day, guys. Bye!